Word of God says, repent and be baptized. The Word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. It's piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, he says, and the joints and the marrow. The Word of God hit everybody. It always hits its target. Mm. He said, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart. Now, I get pricked by the Word of God every time I hear it, every time I'm preaching it myself. Mm. Word of God hit me. Word of God don't just, don't, Word of God don't bounce off of us. The Word of God get right into our heart and show us where we need to be and where we are and it help us because he said that the Spirit of God make intercession for us. Mm. We need that intercession. The Word of God right now is interceding on our behalf. Why? Because the flesh don't want to do nothing. But the Word of God get a hold of the Spirit and make intercession for us and it, and it get a hold of the mind and it begin to transform the mind and cause the mouth to speak. He said when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? That's what we got to ask. Because when you say what shall we do, you know that you did something wrong. You students, you, get, you know you're messing up at school, go to your teacher and ask them, what must I do to pass? And you know you're doing wrong. You know you've been cutting class. Go to your husband, go to your wife. What can I do to be a better? Because some husbands don't know nothing. Some wives don't know either. Don't just assume that they know what to do. And have good training. In this case, they had killed the Prince of Life. They had killed the man Christ Jesus. And Peter preached the word, and they were filled with regret and with remorse. And they wanted to know what to do. God didn't turn their back on them. Amen. God didn't condemn them. He gave them instruction, even though they had killed his only begotten. His only begotten. Even though you, us, have transgressed the commandment of God to such a magnitude that you don't want to tell nobody. Mm -hmm. And yes, there's some things we don't want to tell nobody. Even that, God says, repent. As simple as that. And be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. He make a promise. You shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Whosoever desires to be baptized, stand to your feet if you want to baptize.
Hmm? I baptize you. Oh, God bless you, brother. Yeah. You know, the last time we spoke, you said like, you know, another time.